Hey guys, my name is Peaks and you're watching Zanju.com. Oh, it feels crazy to say that. <laughs> okay, so this is the very first official hair tutorial that I'm doing for you guys. Um, I'm getting ready to actually do a fashion shoot for Zanju.com. You may have seen some of the lookbooks and things that I've been doing. If you haven't, then please make sure that you subscribe at the links down below so you can see all the lookbooks and stuff. But this is a flexi rod corkscrew style, so it's a wee bit more special. So I wanted to show you guys exactly how to do it. Okay, so let's get started. This is what you're going to need for your flexi rod corkscrew. Okay, so basically my hair was just washed, but I let it air dry for a little bit. You're going to need plenty of flexi rods. I'm using a bit of blowout spray just in case I want to use the hair dryer. Um, keep a water bottle handy because you have to make sure the hair is still damp. I've got some brushes there and some combs to detangle my hair as I go along because sometimes it can dry up and get a little bit matted. And some hair clips or some pins just to separate your hair to make it easier. Yeah. And your favorite um, conditioner that you want to use, I'm using Beautiful Textures right there. So it's lovely and it's really soft and it's great. So first of all, I'm using my bottle because my hair has dried in a little bit. So just so that you can get your brush through your hair easy, you don't want it to break or anything as you're brushing. So just make sure that your hair is still damp. Again, this also helps to set the curls in place. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this style as well is because my hair is getting longer and I wanted to try something different with the actual flexi rods to achieve a different type of curl. So I was really looking forward to trying this. And yes, this just gives you a different kind of options as well for something a bit more special. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit of the blurt spray in. So if you want to sit under a hoodie dryer, or if you want to use your hair dryer just to speed up the process as well because I'm going to be doing the photo shoot quite soon. I'm going to use the hair dryer as well just to speed it up because I need the hair to dry in quickly. But if you want your hair to air dry, then that's totally optional as well. You, have, you can skip this little stage right here. Okay, I'm using my detangling brush. I love this. It's become one of my friends. It just makes it so much easier because let's face it, it's one of the tedious parts of detangling um, your afro hair journey <laughs> is the detangling process if anybody's got any more suggestions about making that much easier then please feel free <laughs> you have to be really patient with this process as well because you don't want to damage your hair but anything that makes the process going a bit more faster is great by me <laughs> okay so i'm using beautiful textures there that's the moisture bar it smells lovely and it feels really nice um please choose whatever you want you can actually use gel some people use gel in their hair as well um, um, but I'm just going to use this conditioner here. And it's also used as well for two strand twist styles as well. So I feel this product will be sufficient for me. Wow, it's only as I'm brushing, I'm thinking, wow, it looks really long. <laughs> okay, so keep your brush handy as well as you're going along and use your clips. Because um, as you go on, there's always get these little stray bits as well. So that you can just see what you're doing with your hair. Just keep your clips handy. Okay, so take a nice chunk. I want the twist to turn out quite chunky. So depending on what size you want your curls to be will depend on what kind of size you're going to take your sections. Now just take a piece of product. Um, the product amount will just depend on um, what your hair is like. Is your hair quite thirsty? Is your hair quite long? Just make sure you coat the hair nicely and get it all in there. Okay, so starting from the bottom, just wrap your hair around and give it, um, tuck it in a little bit. So this will put it in securely. And then you just want to wind it up tightly along the rod all the way along. Don't overlap as you're going up as well, because this is what's going to give you a beautiful corkscrew effect. And then as you get to the end, just secure it and bend it over and that will keep it in place. I'm using various size of rods as well, um, the different kinds of thicknesses. It just totally depends on what it is that you're after, ladies. Um, just customize this to your own kind of needs. So I've got various thicknesses on there as well because I like to have different kind of textures in my hair. I'm one of these people that doesn't like to be too uniformed. <laughs> okay, so just roll them in. And then you're just going to repeat that process all the way through your hair. So um, also just take into account as well where you maybe want your hair to kind of fold. Do you want it to be in a middle pattern? Do you want it to be in a side pattern? And make sure that you kind of put your rods in the hair accordingly as well. So I'm rolling them inwards as well. I haven't tried outwards as again. This is kind of like the first time I'm trying this actually. So you guys have seen this. So like an hour later. <laughs> um, 
depending on how quick you are with this will depend on how quickly you're going to get through it so yes my arms are kind of aching a little bit more at this point so we need a wee bit more water as you kind of get closer to the end your hair is kind of drying so again you don't want it to be frizzy that's why you want to keep the water kind of handy and yes so as you can see um i can't really tell you maybe 20 to 30 rollers maybe Am I guessing too many? I can't remember. But yes, you'll need quite a few packets of flexi rods. Um, again, depends on what kind of size you take your sections in. And what I'm doing here now is patting down the bender rollers. That's the kind of beauty of these. You can bend them and mold them in so that they're not too much of getting in your way. So I'm just pressing them down and kind of molding them in. So I know some of you ladies out there said that you can sleep in your rollers. <laughs> That's great, but I'm um, one of these people, um, I tried it, my neck was just like, no, we can't do this. So I had to kind of take them out and start all over again. <laughs> so if you want your hair to maybe air dry in or you're going to sleep in your flexi rods, then you can put a headscarf on there and just keep your curls compact in there and keep them protected. So that's what the scarf looks like on if you're going to try it on. A couple of hours later, I let my hair air dry for a couple of hours first of all. And then I'm just taking my hair dryer now and I put it on the medium setting. And I'm just going to blow dry them for a little while until I can't take anymore. And then I put it on the higher setting and just to let it dry in a wee bit. And then I put on a cool cold setting as well just to kind of set the hair in place. So lift up the rollers as well because you want to make sure you get underneath and make sure that it's all dry because there's nothing worse when you take it all and you think they're all dry and then you get that one that just didn't dry properly and it ruins your whole hair game. It's happened. It's depressing. <laughs> okay, so as we're getting closer now, I'm going to take the rollers out now that they've dried in. I'm using Miss Millie. Love this product. It smells so nice and it's beautiful for your hair. It's all natural and everything, so you can check them out. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just taking that out and I'm wrapping it around the hair. So just take a couple of pumps of your favorite product. Something's going to add a bit of sheen into your hair as well because you want it to look nice and shiny. And I'm giving you the thumbs up because it's worked. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so just gently unwrap all those rollers. Um, take them out as gently as you can. And use your product and just put it all through your hair. So just kind of unwind them, and especially when you get to the bottom, make sure you don't snag your hair as well. And that's what they look like as the corkscrew. So I'm just taking a few more pumps as well just to work that through my hair. And what you want to do is just wind it around your fingers and wind it down as well just to get extra curls in there, just to make sure everything's set in place. Now, you could actually just rock it like that, but I'm just... T um, detangling the curls right here and I want them to look even more voluminous a lot more fuller because I love full hair I told you a lot I got pee head <laughs> I like big voluminous hair <laughs> and stuff so I'm just uh, making the hair look even bigger as well and it looks like dolly hair so again just go through gently tease at the hair get into the roots you really need to work into the roots to get more volume in there and just pull up the hair stretch it out swing your hair around get some air in there <laughs> and then just create even more volume if that's the kind of look that you want to go for again just depending on how long you want this hairstyle to last will depend on how much you want to manipulate it and stuff so again i want to be big and voluminous for my zanju fall shoot again can't wait Okay, so now I'm taking my brush. You can take a comb, whatever it is that you want. And I just want to smooth out the edges a wee bit. So I'm going to use the olive oil um, edge control right there. And it's quite thick, this, and kind of tacky. And um, it's kind of like a gel, but it's not. <laughs> so maybe if you've tried it out, let me know how you got on with it. So basically, I'm just smoothing down the edges um, just to make the hairstyle look even more tidy. Because you want to look as best as you can when you're working it. <laughs> This style is also great as well for probably like date nights and something a wee bit more special or you're going to a really nice event and stuff or something, a really elegant dress or something you want to wear. I think this style would work really nice for that. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm scooping up the hair. Um, I want it to kind of fall to one side and I'm putting in a nice hair accessory. So this is a really nice tartan kind of bow I'm putting in there. I love big hair accessories as well. And again, it's totally optional, it's totally up to you. But you know, again, I love to accessorize. <laughs> so this is the kind of style that I'm putting in there. And just finish the look off however it is that you want. So again, depending on where it is that you're going, how you want to rock the hairstyle will depend on what it is that you want to do with it. So that's what the back looks like. Um, 
The curl should last you quite a while depending on the products that you used as well. And yes, it's a really cute hairstyle. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you guys do try it, do let me know how it turned out for you guys and where would you wear this hairstyle to. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe, hit that like button, share it. And I will catch you guys soon. Don't forget all the Zenju links are down below because there are lookbooks and loads of suggestions about how to rock different styles. I will catch you guys soon. Peace.